Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today is Makeup Basket Monday and I skipped last week because it's been a very interesting couple of weeks. So it has now been three weeks since I've done Makeup Basket Monday, if you're counting. So my upload on Friday, I did say that I was waiting test results for COVID and, and so I didn't want to leave you hanging on that. That video was actually filmed over a week ago and actually that evening my test results came back positive. But obviously I have felt fine. I'm fairly asymptomatic because the last four or five videos that have uploaded, I recorded during that time. So obviously I'm okay. I'm feeling really pretty good. I've felt pretty good, you know, just a little bit of fatigue, which I actually chalked up to just working a lot prior. And then I was exposed. It was a good week into quarantining that I did get my results. So all that was fine. I was not out and about or anything like that, luckily. So yeah, other than a little bit of fatigue and some mild headaches, which, you know, you get headaches with allergies, colds, all that kind of stuff. Really, it was fairly uneventful, other than the toll that it took not working and all that kind of stuff. Um, but really, my biggest symptom, and I do have a video, it'll just be a random video, not a scheduled video that will come up sometime this week. I have lost my sense of taste and smell, which is more traumatic than you would imagine. And so I do have a random video that will go up this week, kind of talking about my experience, and that is the first video I had filmed since I had gotten my test results until today. So yes, today is Makeup Basket Monday. I did want to get you up to speed on that because I didn't want to leave you hanging from my Friday upload. So anyways, that's the deal with that. All's good, I'm fine. I'm actually out of quarantine and all that good stuff. Everything's relatively back to normal, except for the taste and smell thing. So yes, today is Makeup Basket Monday, and if you're returning, you know where those timestamps are, but if you are new, first of all, welcome. And I am gonna explain kind of how I do my Makeup Basket Monday videos. But first, I would love to ask you to subscribe and become part of my family of Dollar Divas. I do try to do a makeup basket, kind of a bi-weekly makeup basket every other Monday. I'll do a makeup basket. So the way I like to do my makeup basket Monday videos is usually I start the video off by recapping what was in my previous makeup basket. Then usually I show you some looks that I created and explain briefly what I used to get those looks. Then I'll share thoughts and feelings, good, bad, or otherwise. Sometimes that is more eventful than others. And then I finish the video by selecting a new makeup basket. Sometimes I theme my makeup baskets. The last few makeup baskets have been kind of project pan oriented. I've been really trying to use some stuff up. And I don't always do that, but I have been doing that recently. Sometimes I'll do a pure Dollar Tree edition or a high-end edition, all that good stuff. So I think this week is gonna be like some makeup that I've forgotten about, like makeup that I haven't touched in a while. So anyways, if that sounds good to you, definitely keep on watching. So to recap what was in my makeup basket, these it's kind of a big makeup basket because I because I threw a bunch of products in it this past go around. So bear with me. So I have a few palettes. The first one is this e.l.f. Modern Metals palette. Then I had two eyeshadow kits from Shop Miss A. I had the Date Night and the Foxy. Then I had the Tardis Pro To Go by Tarte. I had the Color Mates blush from the Dollar Tree. This is in Marvelous. I had this Nomad bronzer. This is in Manly Beach. The product I've been trying to go through is this Clinique Redness Solutions pressed powder. I had this Ofra highlighter. This is in Glow Goals. It's a collab with Nikki Tutorials. For I, I'm just going kind of random here, so again, bear with me. I had the LA Colors brow gel or brow product. <laughs> this is in soft brown. I had these LA Colors contour sticks. One is in light, one is in dark. I had the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Zero. I had this in here just in case I finished my other one. I had the Revolution Eye Glisten. This is in It Is Fate. This is like a NYX kind of shimmer pigment and I just put it in my own container, but it's in the color pig. It's just kind of a shimmery pigment. I had the LA Colors Plump Gloss in Shocker. I had the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse in Whipped. I had two sets of eyelashes, the Shop Miss A Faux Mink in the style Vanessa. And then these were Color Mates lashes from the Dollar Tree. I had the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude. And I had the Estee Lauder, the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer. 
I had the Tarte Amazonian Clay Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. I had the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Foundation. My L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in Vanilla. Sassy Plus Chic BB Cream in Medium. Elf Eyeshadow Primer. I have this Winky Lux Holographic Highlighter in Charm. A couple eyelash glues. One is from Duo and then the other is from Ardell. I've been trying to use up this Duo one, as well as this highlighter. The Believe Beauty Liquid Eyeliner in Midnight Jaguar. This L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. The Rimmel Thousand Kisses Lip Liner in Coffee Bean. Another LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. This is in Rhapsody. The Shot Missé Diamond Lip Gloss in Glam. The Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. This tiny little L'Oreal eyeliner I've been trying to use up forever now. My Bell & Argent lipstick in Click Your Heels. Another thing I've been trying to use up is the Stilla Glitter & Glow in Follow the Sun. The Shop Miss A Wonder Metal Liquid Lipstick, this is in Naughty. The Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Gingerbread Girl. My NYX Glitter Primer. Some NYX Red Glitter that I have in a my own container. One of my Beauty Bar Baby Multi-Chrome Eyeshadow Flakes. This is in Galactic Halo. I had another little eyelash glue just in case I finished my other one. This is from LA Colors. Nestle Lauder Lip Gloss. This is in Praline. Again, another thing I was hoping to finish up. My Arrow Enhance Highlighter and Eyeliner. I had put this CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner in here just in case I finished up my other one. And last but not least is the Shop Miss A Loose Pigment. This is in conjure so even through all of the crazy I ended up I did end up wearing makeup a few times I've only got one picture and then the makeup look that I'm wearing today so but I did write down three looks plus I remember what I did for this look today palette wise I did use a little bit of everything which is really cool so I did do a look where I used where I did these two shades here on the end this is a great brow bone highlight right here I think I did that shade underneath. So I used this quite a bit and then I dug into the Date Night palette, mainly for this darker shade right here for the outer part of my eye. And then I know I used the Color Mates lashes, which I ended up not minding as much as I thought I would. Then for look number two, I do have a picture for this one. Like I said, it's been a rough three weeks, you know. So I'm just, just forgot when I put on makeup to get pictures. <laughs> so look number two, I used this Tardis palette. I hope I'm saying that right. This is a really cute little palette, great for travel, has everything you need. I used Stylin' in the crease and kind of on the outer half of the eye. I used this shade here, Crisp, kind of all over. I used Hype on the inner corner. I used this shade here, Boss, kind of for the middle part of the lid. Then I went underneath and lined underneath with this shade here again, this dark brown Stylin'. Then I also dug into the e.l.f. palette for this look, kind of the shade right here on the brow bone. Then I used the NYX Pigment and Pig kind of on the inner corner. So that was a really, really pretty look. And then look number three, I have a similar look that I did several months ago that I will pop up here. And it's a very similar look because I think it's just so pretty. This shade here, I mean, I got so many compliments on this shade right here. It's just like, it's so pretty. So I used this palette and then I think I went into the Foxy eyeshadow kit for this lightest shade here for under the brow bone. So yeah, like I said, it's very similar to this picture. Not exact, but very, very similar. And I also had to dig out some new Ioni lashes because the two pairs of lashes that I put in here are done. So by the time I did this look the other day, so by the time that, that rolled around, those lashes were done. So I am wearing lashes that were not originally in the makeup basket because these are done. <laughs> and then there's today's look. I used primarily this e.l.f. palette. And so I kind of went in with this purple, kind of in the crease and on the outer part of the eye and kind of blended it in to the middle. And then I used this green shade here on the inner half of my eye. I lined underneath with the purple as well. Then I used this end of the eye glisten for the inner corner. Under the brow bone, I used this shade right here, this lightest shade. New eyelashes liner. For my lips, I am using these two products, the AOA Studio Diamond Gloss and my Rimmel Lip Pencil, and then all of the products, you know, the face products. Actually, now what I have been doing is mixing these two foundations 
to try to use them up. But today, I exclusively used my Sassy Chic BB Cream because it was so close to being done, and there's still a little bit left in it. So I, I got one more use, or a half a use. So, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna wait for it. I used both of my powders to set the look. I used my Winky Lux highlighter, which is almost gone. I still have a tiny little bit of this eyeliner, maybe another use or two, and I used this primer, the Smashbox primer. So feelings, what are my feelings and my thoughts? Well, I was really glad to finally dig into these two palettes. Really nice quality, like I said, this is a great little like travel palette, you know what I mean? Um, I kind of like to have a little, little bit of a lighter shade too, so I would put in like a CoverGirl single or something like that for the light, or use a highlighter. Probably use a highlighter if I were traveling, but a great little palette, lots of those beautiful warm shades. You get your mattes, you get your shimmers. Really, really, really nice little palette. I had never really used Tarte eyeshadows before. And then this palette here is really a whole lot prettier than, than you would even really think. It's got kind of an interesting color story. You've got your mattes, you've got your shimmers. It's, like I said, what I'm wearing today for the most part. And then of course my eyeshadow kits from Shop Miss A. I didn't get to use this one as much as I wanted to, but see, it's just gorgeous. I just primarily used it for the light shade, this go around. But I dug into this quite a bit. Like I said, I used that purple. I used all these shades right here. I used quite a bit. But yeah, I, got, I feel like I did a really good job at kind of using all of the palettes. You know, considering there were four in there and I really didn't wear makeup all that much. There were some things I didn't use because they were in here just in case I ran out of something else. And those products included the highlighter, these eyeliners. I forgot that I had the Urban Decay in there when I put the CoverGirl one in there. Um, and then this eyelash glue. So I didn't have to use these at all because I didn't run out of what I initially had put in there. I did use these eyelashes up. These here were just shot. I had used them a lot. Then these ones here, they would have gotten a lot more time, but when I was trying to pick off the glue, I ripped the lash, unfortunately. So, like I said, I ended up liking these a whole lot more than I expected. So yeah, so used up a couple pair of eyelashes. This mascara is done. It's really very dried out. So I went ahead and moved on from this to one that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I can't remember if it was initially in the makeup basket, but I did need to go out and buy some mascara because I used up my other LA Colors one a few weeks ago. So I did go out and purchase another mascara. It's just okay, but I only really use it for under my eyelashes anyway, like under my false lashes. So I did use that up. And I finally used up this little Estee Lauder primer that I've had forever. So I used up four things, which isn't bad. I almost used up, is this Winky Lux highlighter? That is really, really, really close. Like I said, this has one or maybe a half more uses and then that is done. I, I don't know if I showed you this last time, but I did take out the stopper out of this, but there's still a quite a bit of product left in here. So this might have another little while, but I did use that for my main concealer as well. So that helps as well. This, I think I have one more use out of this. Then my red glitter, there's just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit left in here. Probably another use, and then I do have a backup. A couple products I did not use were my Beauty Bar Baby Pigment, and again, I can't seem to use this. I just, I put it in and I never get around to using it. I don't know why, it just, it works out that way. <laughs> Didn't use this up yet. And I did take the stopper out of my Stila Glitter and Glow. So again, that probably still has a while because a little bit goes a long way, but that is well on its way as well. So now time to select a new makeup basket. There will be a few rollovers, but I'm gonna let some stuff go. That way I can kind of focus on some makeup that I've kind of forgotten about for a little while. So I'm gonna start with the things that will be rolling over and then we'll move on to the new stuff. So I am gonna get the one more or half a use out of this and then have another product in here that I will continue on with. So this is gonna be in here, I'm gonna use this first. I'm gonna put my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer mainly to clean up my eyebrows, but I do have a concealer in here I'm gonna use for the rest of my face because I forgot about it. I'm gonna keep in my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna keep in my Believe Beauty liquid liner. I'm gonna keep this in here for the one or so more uses that I'm gonna get out of it, and then I'm gonna move on to the CoverGirl Ink It, because it's one that I haven't really used in a while. I'm gonna keep my mascara in there for under my lashes, my eyelash glues, I'm gonna finish up this tiny little bit of glitter and I do have my new one in here. So I will move on to that when that is done. And then I'm gonna keep this 
in here as well. So now let's move on to the new products. Like I said, I've tried to pick out things that I've kind of forgotten about or have neglected. So let's go ahead and see what they are. So for the palettes, I've got a couple, I've got three palettes in here and then I've got some singles. And I know it's, it's really ambitious, I know. Believe me, I know. I bought this for a dupe video and I really haven't used it since. I'm gonna put this Rimmel Electric Violet palette in here. I bought this for a comparison with the Naked Ultraviolet. I will have that linked down below if you wanna check it out, but I'm gonna put this in there. Then I'm gonna put my, it's my Ray Ray palette from BH Cosmetics. I haven't really touched this much in a while, so I'm gonna show it some love as well. And then this I've never used on camera. It is the Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen. This was given to me by a friend of mine, and it's got a bronzer and a highlighter and a blush, and it's got all those really pretty shades so i'm really excited to finally dig into this i really haven't used it i really haven't used it at all so very excited to put this in this week for my eyelashes i'm going to put in these two sets of la colors lashes they have been used before it's just been a while since i've used them so they're both going to be in this week i've got my little unopened nyx glitter as a replacement for a face primer, I'm gonna take a break from the Smashbox and I had forgotten really kind of completely that I have this. I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I've only used it maybe once, obviously. And I think this is the original. I don't think this is, I know they have a couple different kinds. I think it's the original. So I'm gonna put that in there. I've got the Believe Beauty Matte Blur Loose Powder. This is in light medium and I don't know if this has ever been in a makeup basket. It may have been once a while back, but kind of forgot about that. When I run out of the Sassy Chic BB Cream, I'm gonna move on to their Moisturizing Foundation. Also wear the shade Medium. I did a Dollar Tree holiday makeup look that I will also have linked down below, and I used this in that video and really, really like it. Definitely like the Sassy Chic face products better than the LA Colors ones, for sure. In my experience, it's just me personally. Like I said, I kind of have a little bit of, a lot of eye stuff and it's probably very ambitious, but I'm gonna put my two NYX, I'm gonna put two of my NYX Prismatic eyeshadows in here. One is in blue jeans, one is in tin. They're just so pretty. This Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow in Solstice. This was in a makeup basket and I did not get to it. It's this LA Girl Hollow Glam. It's kind of like an eye glitter type of a product. Then I'm gonna put my NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm gonna roll this over as well. This is the Beauty Bar Baby. I'm gonna put this Multi-Chrome Eyeshadow Flakes in Galactic Halo back in as well. I'm gonna put a couple blushes. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is in Deep Wine. It's kind of a mess looking, excuse it. <laughs> Something I used to wear on the stage all the time because it was bright. And then I'm gonna put this NYX Blush Single in Cinnamon in. I'm gonna put my NARS Contour Kit. This is in Paloma, haven't used it really in a while. So I'm not gonna put a highlighter in because this palette here kind of comes with a highlighter and I know I will love it. So um, it comes with a bronzer and a blush too, but I'm gonna just, that's the highlighter that I'm gonna use for this makeup basket. So for bronzer, I've got this AOA Studio Perfect. It's actually a blush, but I bought it as a bronzer shade. It's called Fino. And I think it'll be a better bronzer shade. I bought it in the summertime. I think it'll be better now where I'm not tan. And then I'm gonna use this little blush and bronzer duo. I got this in an Ipsy way back. It's from Cargo. And this is the blush and bronzer duo by Cargo. It's in the shade Catalina and Medium. I guess the blush is Catalina and the bronzer is Medium. And I've used this quite a bit, but it's just been a little while. So I really like this. I usually bring this on vacation with me. When I run out of that duo glue, I'm gonna put this LA Colors one back in here. I've also got this Jackie Love Premium Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in Fairy Light. This has been in my makeup basket before. It's just been a little bit. Then this I have never used. It's the LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in Regal. I thought this would be really pretty with that, um, with the Electric Violet palette. For my brows, I got the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil. I don't know the shade. It's probably in a medium or dark brown shade, but it's been a while since I've used this. I'm gonna put in all four of my LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliners as well as this Mally Eye Color Starlight Waterproof Liner. This is in Ice Blue. This is the concealer that I'm gonna use for my face. It's the Makeup Forever HD, Ultra HD Invisible Concealer. Then for lips, I'm gonna use this that you saw in a recent full face of LA Colors Makeup. We'll have it linked down below if you are interested in that. But it's the LA Colors Lip Contour Duotones and Tips Lip Color. 
basically it's like a duo. It's like a darker liner for the outside of your lips and then a thicker, lighter color for the inside to make your lips kind of contoured. Interesting product. I think I paid like two bucks for it or something like that. I'm gonna put this LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss in Coral Crush. It's been a while since this has been on my channel. I've got this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I don't know the shade, but it is like an Ipsy, it was like an Ipsy exclusive or something like that. I've got this Finding Ferdinand Lip Color and very, in Very Berry. I've got this Revlon Matte Lip Color in Power Move, kind of a deep wine shade. And last but not least, not that I've forgotten about it, but it's my Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in 911D Stoplight Red, because you have to have a red, and this really does kind of need to be used up. It's just a mess. It's very loved. <laughs> so that's it. So those will be the products that I use for the next couple weeks. I'm hoping to now just resume as normal. So next Monday will not be Makeup Basket Monday, but something else, and we will resume two weeks from today with progress made and feelings and all that good stuff and hopefully way more pictures than I captured this week or the week before. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, show me you did by hitting that like button. And again, thank you for your ongoing support to all of my dollar divas and to my new dollar divas that are gonna be going on this journey with me. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.